Robert Earnshaw is a Zambian-born Welsh international footballer. He is the only player to have scored a hat-trick in all three divisions of the English Football League, the Premier League, the League Cup, FA Cup, and for his country at international level. Earnshaw was born in Mufalira, Zambia, and spent the first five years of his life there before moving to Malawi. Soon after the death of his father in 1990, Earnshaw's mother moved the family to Bedwas in South Wales. Earnshaw joined Cardiff City as a YTS trainee in 1997, and turned professional a year later. During his first spell at Cardiff he made 205 first-team appearances, scoring 105 goals. Eligible to represent either Zambia or Wales, Earnshaw made his debut for the latter in 2003. Moving up two divisions in 2004. Earnshaw joined Premier League side West Bromwich Albion, finishing the 2004 Euro 05 season as top goal scorer. Earnshaw signed for Norwich City during the January 2006 transfer window, staying at Carrow Road until the end of the 2006 Euro 07 season. At Derby County the following season, Earnshaw spent what he called his worst season in football, scoring one goal in his 22 appearances. Earnshaw's three-year contract with Nottingham Forest expired in June 2011. During his time at Forest, Earnshaw scored 35 goals and 87 appearances. In June 2011, Earnshaw left Forest on a free transfer and signed a two-year contract with his old club, Cardiff City. Since leaving Cardiff City in 2004, Earnshaw's transfer fees totaled a £12,650,000. Earnshaw was born on the outskirts of the north-central Zambian mining town of Mufalira on April 6, 1981. When he was five, his family moved to Malawi where David Earnshaw took charge of another coal mine and his youngest son began school. Again, the family's stay was to be a short one. In September 1990, following the death of her husband, Rita moved the Earnshaw family to Bedwas, a small Welsh town to the north of Cardiff where they lived initially with her sister. Earnshaw still has a house there. It was the first time I had been away from Africa. He recalls. It was just completely different, from one extreme to another. It was much colder as well, just every little thing was different, everyone spoke English over here and although I could speak a little bit I had to learn. But when you're a kid you just get on with it. It was in Wales that he began playing football, kicking a ball around with friends between and after classes at Cardinal Newman C School, Pontypridd, the school he moved on to after a spell at St. Helens Primary. Cardinal Newman's was a rugby union playing school so Earnshaw's first organized football match came at the age of 12 with local youth side Lambradac. We didn't win anything, we weren't the best, he says. I only played one year and then I moved to GE Wales, which was a better team and we won a few local titles. I scored a lot of goals, 81 season, 60 another when I was 14, 15, 16. It was at one of his childhood matches aged 14 that he adopted his acrobatic front flip celebration, one of the reasons he is well known. Club career, Cardiff City, in 1997 Gavin Tayot, then Cardiff City youth team coach, invited Earnshaw to training and, on August 1, he signed a one-year YTS contract at Ninian Park. He came through the club's youth development program and became a full-time professional in August 2003, despite the attentions of his heroes Manchester United and made his mark immediately with a superb equaliser at Hartlepool United on the opening day of the season. Earnshaw was loaned to Greenock Morton by Frank Burrows to gain experience and toughen up, where he played three games in the Scottish Football League First Division and one Scottish Cup tie against Rangers. He also at one stage had a trial at Middlesbrough under Brian Robson. The experience gave Earnshaw the motivation to succeed and on his return he soon became one of the Bluebird fans' biggest heroes. He had already been capped by Wales at youth and under-21 level but his exploits in Cardiff City's promotion campaigns attracted the attention of national coach Mark Hughes. Earnshaw duly exploded onto the international scene, scoring the winning goal on his debut for Wales against Germany at the Millennium Stadium in May 2002. He was also named Man of the Match.
A few months later Earnshaw was named Young Welsh Footballer of the Year, and was named in the PFA Division II Team of the Year for 2002 a year 003 after a prolific season saw him score 35 goals in all competitions, with 31 scored in the league meaning he broke the 56-year-old club record of Stan Richards. Earnshaw became a key member of the Wales squad during the Euro 2004 qualifying campaign. He staked his claim for a regular slot in the starting lineup with a hat trick in the 4 Euro 0 friendly win over Scotland in February 2004. At the end of 2003 Euro 04, Earnshaw was named in the first division team of the year. Several top clubs including Manchester United, Liverpool and Celtic sent their scouts to look at Earnshaw as his reputation spread. He scored 105 goals in his 205 first team appearances for Cardiff City, including a plethora of hat tricks in Divisions 2 and 3, as well as the FA Cup and League Cup. A popular piece of trivia concerning Earnshaw is that he is the only player to have scored a hat trick in all of the English football leagues, the FA and League Cup, as well as for his country. West Bromwich Albion in 2004 Earnshaw was transferred from Cardiff to West Bromwich Albion for a £3 million, a fee that could have reached a maximum of a £3.62 million with performance-related add-ons. His agent Mel Eves was fined 30,000 Swiss francs by FIFA in July 2007 over his role in the transfer. Eves was found guilty of acting for both his client and the buying club in the deal. Earnshaw made his Albion Dar copyright but in a 3 Euro 0 defeat at Liverpool on September 11, 2004, coming on as a second-half substitute but making little impact. It took Earnshaw seven games to notch his first Albion goal, netting twice in the 2 Euro 2 draw at Southampton on November 6, 2004. His first and only Premier League hat-trick came against Charlton Athletic on March 19, 2005. Although key goals such as these helped the club retain their premiership status, manager Brian Robson preferred to use him from the bench as an impact player rather than as a starter. Nevertheless, Earnshaw finished as Albion's top goal scorer for that season with 14 goals, earning him the Ronnie Allen Trophy. He remained in the squad for 2005 Euro 06, albeit that West Brom signed several additional Fords including Diamond E. Kamara and Nathan Ellington and competition was even more fierce. In December 2005, Earnshaw submitted two transfer requests, and both were rejected. However in January 2006 manager Brian Robson said that Earnshaw would be allowed to leave, assuming there was a fair transfer fee on offer. Norwich City, on transfer deadline day, January 31, 2006, Earnshaw signed a three-and-a-half-year contract for Norwich City for a fee of a £2.75 million. He opened his Norwich goal-scoring account with a brace, late on in Norwich's 3-0 home win against Brighton on February 14, 2006. Earnshaw scored six more goals in the remaining matches of the 2005-06 season. By January 2007, Earnshaw was top scorer in the division with 17 goals, but suffered a severe groin injury in training, that looked to have put him out of action for the rest of the season. However he returned to first team action in April 2007 to score his 18th and 19th goals of the season against Leicester City and Sheffield Wednesday respectively to cap off a truly remarkable recovery from the injury. Derby County Derby County broke their transfer record previously held by the A3 million pounds transfer of Seth Johnson from Crew Alexandra by signing Earnshaw from Norwich City for a fee of A3.5 million pounds on June 29, 2007. He made his debut for the Rams in a 2 Euro 2 draw against Portsmouth on August 11, 2007. Earnshaw struggled to make an impact at Derby and was in and out of the side at the start of the season before being dropped. His first goal for the club came in for a Euro 1 FA Cup defeat to Preston North End on January 26, 2008, by which time the man who signed him, Billy Davis, had left the club and been replaced by Paul Jewell. It wasn't until April 28, 2008 that he scored his first Premier League goal for the club, in the 6 a Euro 2 home defeat to Arsenal. In a torrid season, Earnshaw made just seven starts in his debut season at Derby with a further 17 appearances as sub. 
he was left out of the squad for the final game of the season against Reading when it was revealed that Jewell had accepted a bid from two unspecified clubs later revealed to be Nottingham Forest and Sheffield United, bringing to an end what Earnshaw later stated was one of his worst seasons in football. Nottingham Forest, in May 2008, less than a year after signing for Derby, Earnshaw joined Nottingham Forest for a £2.65 million, signing a three-year deal. He made his competitive debut in a 0-0 draw with Reading on August 10, 2008, scoring his first competitive goals for Forest in their League Cup first round tie at home to Morecambe, getting two on August 13, 2008. Earnshaw's first league goal for Forest came in their 3-0-2 victory over Watford in the Championship, at the City Ground on August 23, 2008. He scored his first hat-trick for Nottingham Forest on December 5, 2009 in a 5-0-1 a win over local rivals Leicester City. The 2010-11 season saw Earnshaw struggle to find his feet early on despite some good performances, scoring only one in 13 matches. His scoring picked up though, and he scored six goals in the last 12 games. This included two goals in the 5-0-2 win against Derby County at the city ground as well as the only goal in Forrest's first ever victory at Pride Park Stadium against Derby. Earnshaw scored Forrest's only goal in the 3 Euro one loss to Swansea City in the away leg of their playoff semi-final, also hitting the post in the dying minutes of the game, which would have leveled the scoreline at 2 Euro 2 In total he scored 43 goals in 111 appearances for Forrest, making him one of their most successful strikers in recent years. Return to Cardiff City, on July 6, 2011, Earnshaw rejoined boyhood club Cardiff City on a free transfer, following unsuccessful talks with Nottingham Forest regarding contract renewal. Earnshaw would become new Cardiff City manager Mulkey Mackay's fourth free transfer signing since joining the Bluebirds from Watford. Earnshaw made his second Cardiff debut in a 1-0-0 win over West Ham United on August 7. Earnshaw's first goal since his return to the Bluebirds came the following Sunday in a 3-0-1 home victory over Bristol City in the seven-side derby. He scored his 200th career goal in a 1-0-1 draw with Burnley on August 20, scoring the equaliser. A change of the system at Cardiff and an off-form Earnshaw saw him drop to the bench to make way for Kenny Miller in a single-man attack. Earnshaw made his first start since October in a 4 Euro 2 defeat to former club West Bromwich Albion on January 7, 2012, in which he scored. A league appearance didn't feature until two more months where he found himself coming off the bench against Hull City, in a 3 Euro 0 defeat. He would continue making substitute appearance for the Bluebirds, mostly featuring in the dying minutes of the game, up to the season's end. Cardiff City did make the playoffs getting beat 5 Euro 0 on aggregate by West Ham United, with Earnshaw making a brief appearance. Maccabi Tel Aviv, on September 20, after dropping down the pecking order at Cardiff, Earnshaw moved to Israel with Maccabi Tel Aviv on a season-long loan, and was given the number 19 shirt. After joining Maccabi Tel Aviv, Earnshaw believes joining the club will make him a better player once he returned to Cardiff City and says he has a chance to work with the club's sports director Geordie Kroof. He made his club debut, coming on a substitute in a second half, in a 4-0 win over Hapoel Irony Kiryat Shmona on September 24, 2012, and after two appearance, he scored his first goal in a 2-1 win over Ashdod two weeks later. His second goal came three months later when he scored a winner in a 2-1 win over Maccabi Netanya. However, Earnshaw spent part of the 2012 Israel-Gaza conflict in Tel Aviv, during which he expressed his shock at the city coming under rocket fire saying I looked over at these guys who had many years a Euro unregistered trademark service in the army. They knew exactly what was going on. One of them shouted that we had to take cover up by the side of the dressing rooms, so we just ran after them. Then we heard a loud bang of the Iron Dome a Euro a new protection system used to intercept rockets. We then had to protect ourselves from all the shrapnel coming down. Earnshaw has subsequently been sent back to Cardiff from Tel Aviv, where manager Mulkey Mackay has apparently deemed him surplus to requirements. 
it was confirmed on January 4, 2013 that he would be leaving Cardiff for the end of January. Toronto FC, on February 28, 2013. Earnshaw confirmed he had left Cardiff City to join Canadian Major League Soccer Club Toronto FC. Earnshaw made his debut for Toronto on March 2 in a 1-0 away defeat to Vancouver Whitecaps FC. The following week on March 9 Earnshaw scored two goals and first for the club in a 2-1 home victory over Sporting Kansas City, helping earn new manager Ryan Nelson his first coaching victory. Earnshaw was awarded MLS Player of the Week for his two-goal performance becoming the first Toronto player to be given the honor since Danny Kuevermans the previous summer. Blackpool, on March 21, 2014, Earnshaw joined championship side Blackpool on a short-term deal until the end of the 2013 Euro 14 season. Chicago Fire, on August 15, 2014 Earnshaw joined Major League Soccer Club Chicago Fire on a free transfer. On August 23, 2014 he scored his first goal for the fire, heading in a Grant Ward cross in a 2-2 draw against his former club Toronto FC. A week later he made it two goals in two games when he headed in the game winner against FC Dallas in a game at Toyota Park. International career, Earnshaw made his international debut at the Millennium Stadium in May 2002, scoring the winning goal against Germany. He has represented Wales on more than 50 occasions scoring a hat-trick for his country in a win against Scotland in February 2004 and in 2011 captaining the side against Scotland in their home nation's tie. On September 6, 2011, in a Euro 2012 qualifier against England, he came on as a substitute with his team won a Euro 0 down, and missed an open goal from six yards. England held on to win the match won a Euro 0. In March 2013, Earnshaw stated that he is still available for selection by the national side. He reiterated this message in October 2013. International Goals, Career Statistics Honours, Cardiff City, Football League Division 3 Runners-Up, 2000 Euro 01, Football League Division 2 Playoff Winner, 2002 Euro 03, Football League Cup Runner-Up, 2012 Football League Cup Final, Israeli Premier League 2012-13, individual, Brian Clough Trophy, all-time leading goal scorer a Euro 5 goals, Cardiff City Player of the Year, 2002 a Euro 03, Cardiff City Young Player of the Year, 1999-2000-2001, hat-trick record, he is the only player to have scored hat-tricks in the Premiership, Divisions 1, 2 and 3, the FA Cup, the League Cup and in an international Premiership, West Brom vs Charlton, March 19, 2005, Division 1, Cardiff vs Gillingham and Nottingham Forest v Leicester City, Division 2, Cardiff vs QPR and Tramair Rovers, Division 3, Cardiff vs Torquay United, FA Cup, Cardiff vs Bristol Rovers, League Cup, Cardiff vs Boston United and Leighton Orient, International. Wales vs Scotland, References External links, Robert Earnshaw's personal website, Robert Earnshaw Career Stats at Soxabase, Career Information, BBC SE Wales Profile, Wales Profile